write down conservation of angular momentum. Just like conservation of linear momentum, there is something called conservation of angular momentum. statement if net torque if the net external torque sorry if net external torque on net external torque on a system of particles and rigid body if net external torque on a system is zero the angular momentum of the system will be conserved. The angular momentum of the system will be conserved. Fine. So if I add up all the angular momentums, it will not change if net torque is zero. Fine. So you have to do what? If you have to apply the conservation of angular momentum, you have to find an axis about which net torque is zero. Okay, and then about that axis, initial angular momentum will be equal to final angular momentum. Getting it? Right? So, basically the total angular momentum of entire system, let's say it has two rigid bodies and two point masses. So this is the total angular momentum. Okay, so if you differentiate it, you will get dl by dt it will be equal to torque on 1 plus torque on 2 okay plus torque this like that fine there will be internal torques also and like the way you remember we have done internal torque also get cancelled away fine so if you add all the torques of the system you will get net external torque external torque is equal to rate at which angular momentum changes about that axis. Fine. And if external torque is zero, rate of change of net angular momentum about that axis is zero. So sum of the angular momentum before will be equal to the angular momentum afterwards. Simple derivation, the way we have done for the linear momentum. Any doubt? Now let's discuss couple of scenarios where the angular momentum uh, is there in our day to day life. Okay. Uh, you've seen, uh, Ajay, have you ever like spread your hands like that and rotate it? Um, I did, yeah. So do that. No, no, so like I, I read this thing in sixth grade or something. And then it said that if you take two really big textbooks and go on a swivel chair, and you start spinning and then you pull it together then you spin faster. Yes. I did that. Yeah. Have you ever done like spinning with your hands open like this and while spinning your, you do like that, your angular velocity increases? Mm -hmm. because Anyone I into do. dancing? <laughs> rotate up there, na? Everybody rotates. So if you have to increase the angular velocity, you decrease the moment of inertia. Which dance? I I know. Which dance? Bollywood? Yeah. Randomly, like, got glasses and all. In classical and chakras, you take your hands inside. Ah. Once you start spinning. So, yeah, see, all the da dance, dance, fifty percent dance is spinning only about the fixed axis. <laughs> and salsa, have you seen? Every, I mean, ninety percent of the time, the girl is rotating. I mean, so but that's translation plus. I mean, yeah, but most of the time it will be the guy will be like this and the girl is spinning like that. Okay, fine. Dance is done. Rules have been seen. Chuck the girl at the top and she goes to some other place. Chuck, right? No, so like the pros doing salsa. Are pros are different. Like I am talking about you doing salsa. You guys are going to be like this. Like this. Otherwise, like they do something and the girl goes spinning with some other guy. Oh, yeah. Like a dog. Oh, while spinning, she goes. Too much. 
and see if you have not done this, go home and do it. it not a lot of space here. If space would have been there, if I ask everyone to do one by one. Shreesh, we can do it. All right, listen here. Another example is: Have you seen in Olympics? Someone jumps on top and goes in the swimming pool. Diving. 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 It's called diving. <laughs> so when when the person is jumping from the top, his body is completely stretched like that, and in between folds him, himself or herself. When he jumps, he he or she has very little angular velocity. He, he was rotating like this slowly, and as soon as the person folds himself. What happens is ICM decreases because all the mass comes near to the axis. So sum of MR square becomes very less. Moment of inertia decreases. But angular momentum is what? I into omega. If I decrease, omega has to increase because angular momentum has to be constant. Right? So because of that, when he or she folds herself, angular velocity increases. And then again, when someone is about to Touch the water. God knows how they find out they're about to touch the water. They again stretch themselves. Okay, okay. Try not to do that. Fold it. Give water. And I have heard many stories where, uh, not many, couple of stories that uh, someone jumped and uh, fall on the stomach in the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Very hard. Yeah. Surface tension will not let you go in, inside very easily. Ah, so they, you know, once uh, the Russian sp uh, spacecraft was there, and inside it there were astronauts. They and that point in time they have that disc which rotates. You know, have you seen the big disc? Oh, so is is there is there this middle axis theorem thing in which it just flips over? So there's there's, there's this other uh, really cool thing. It's called the middle axis theorem in which there was this Russian guy so he had this T screw let me complete na middle axis theorem kaha se aagya middle axis theorem I'm not teaching listen here so what I was saying was these Russians were fond of some music so they have they they went to space and started that gramophone and the disc was rotating this has a some angular momentum initial angular momentum of the spaceship was zero when the disc rotates, it generates some angular momentum, so the spaceship slightly will rotate. Because net angular momentum initially was zero, finally should also be zero. So if this rotate like this, spaceship should rotate in opposite direction. Okay, so there they found out conservation of angular momentum properly. Right? So even if even if the spaceship rotates by 0 0.001 degrees, it will you will go somewhere else. Okay, if you have to go to moon, you will land up in Mars. Because you are traveling extremely far distances, right? And uh, there are so many examples of angular momentum. Angular momentum is in fact more generic than the linear momentum itself. Right? So let's take a couple of numericals on the conservation of angular momentum. Is there any doubt on angular momentum conservation? Stop talking. It's a cross. Two rods are welded. The mass of the rods M and the length of the rods L. Okay. <clears throat> At the end, there are guns. <coughs> and guns have bullets inside. So they fire simultaneously. So shouldn't that one be the other side? Why? The bottom. Meri mazhe ke bhi lagao kar. All right. So this entire thing can rotate about this axis. Why? It is horizontal. This thing is horizontal. It can rotate about this fixed axis. Getting it? The bullet's mass is small m. All the bullets mass is small m, which is very less compared to capital M. So basically, before firing and after firing, the rod mass doesn't change. So shouldn't the bottom one be towards the axis? 
me that you can quit. No, he just didn't want. I don't want it to be like God ne bola hai kya nahi aise rehna chahiye. I put it like this so that you make silly errors, right? So now you have to find out the angular velocity of entire system immediately after bullet is fired. The bullet's velocity of firing is v. All the bullets are fired with velocity v. <coughs> Can I use conservation of angular momentum? Yes. Can I use? Yes. There is no net x to me. Yeah. About which axis can I use? About this axis? About the fixed axis itself? Right? All the axis force as well as mg force are applied passing through this axis itself. So net torque about the axis is zero. So before the bullet was fired, whatever the angular momentum will be equal to the angular momentum after the bullet is fired. Now do it. What is the initial angular momentum of the system? Zero. 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 It should be equal to final angular momentum. Add up all the angular momentums of the particles, which are bullets and the rods. It will turn to zero. Done. Angular momentum of a bullet is how much? M into V into? L by 2. L by 2? So these two bullets angular momentum are in same direction? Same direction, what about that? Opposite. So total angular momentum of the bullets will be m v l by 2, 3 bullets in the same direction minus m v into l by 2. This is the total angular momentum of the bullet. Yes or no? Okay. Plus angular momentum of the rigid body. How many rigid bodies are there? Two. Okay, so ICM which is <coughs> M L square by 12 omega, both the omegas of the rod will be same because they are welded as a single rigid body. So omega of entire rigid body becomes same. This will add up to zero. Final angular momentum is equal to initial angular momentum. Okay, this came in J1 2014. So that was it this way or that? It was, yeah, this way. We're doing a lot better than Got it? Any doubts? Anything? Any so if you wanted to find the, the net momentum of this system, then you'll have to add the translational also. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like even this setup will move forwards because both no, of these... No, fixed axis. External force is there. You can't apply conjunction of momentum. External torque is not there. External force is there. Okay. Axis is applying force, no? Yes. But torque because of that force is zero. Okay. So, but like let's say this, this axis was not fixed. So, it will start moving forwards, right? So, like the question is, if I put that and fired it the other way, then both ways the change in momentum will be the same, right? Which? So like... Oh, then it will not rotate. If this is like that, then the then sum of the linear rotate. momentum is zero. Yes. So but it will not be more move. angular. Huh. But then right now it will move. It will have some VCS. Yes. As well as omega. Yes. Ajah, this... Find out if suppose axis is not fixed. If suppose axis is not fixed, find out VCM in this case VCM and omega. Remember, I can use conservation of linear momentum whether it is a point mass or a rigid body if net external force is zero. Can I conserve linear momentum? Yes. No external force. Can I conserve angular momentum? Yes. Can I conserve angular momentum? Is there a net external force? Mg is there, Mg force is there, but about that axis, the torque because of Mg is zero. So about center of mass axis, I can always conserve the angular momentum. Okay. In fact, torque because of Mg is never about that axis, whichever axis you take. Okay. Torque because of Mg is trying to rotate like this. Sorry, it is trying to rotate like that. So horizontally, the torque is there because of Mg, not in this direction. 
So you can literally use any axis, but it is always better to apply conjunction of angular momentum about the center of mass axis or about the fixed axis. Your expressions will be simpler. Done? VCM you got? So net angular momentum, sorry, net linear momentum about the x axis should be zero because initially it was zero. So about the x axis, you have 2m into v minus of that plus total mass of the rod 2m into vx is equal to zero. This you all of you got? Yes. These two bullets are going in the negative x direction. So for that, the linear momentum is minus of 2mv plus let's say that vx is the velocity of center of mass along x axis plus total mass m plus m two rods are there 2m into vx is equal to zero so this will give you vx so vx is what vx is m by capital m times v vy will be what you can see that along the y direction the momentum of this bullet cancels away from that so momentum bullet is zero plus momentum of the rod equal to zero so vy is zero okay so it will only move in the x direction with vx fine but won't it move in a circle why circle if, if you constantly yeah. shoot bullets if you constantly right. shoot bullets no it will not move in a circle why yeah sir because um, the horizontal rod will begin to rotate but then, with respect to this point, it is moving in a circle. Otherwise, it is a weird path. It goes forward as well as rotate. No, no, sir. But 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 if this can also move, then the then, then those things itself will shift. So then it will start to do that. Right? Not circular motion. Curved motion, you can say. So it will spend the same amount of time firing this way at each angle. So it will be a circle. Vx is this. So the entire structure is moving forward as well as rotating with that omega which we have found earlier. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. So which is doing circular motion? Which point? So that's only at this point. And once it moves a little bit, now it will go in this direction. Correct. So it will. what will happen is, it will move a little forward and this will happen. Yeah. That's all. But it is not a circle, right? So but if your tangential like, uh, velocity is the same and your Oh, I know what you are saying, yeah. but you should also understand what I am trying to say. With respect to the frame, these are doing the circular motion. But if you are on the ground, you will not see the frame doing circular motion. And anyways, in the rigid body, one point is always moving in a circle with respect to any other point. That, that is a generic statement. But if you talk about specific scenario here, it is not a circular motion exactly. All right? But it will be some sort of weird curve. Which point you are talking about? First, no, you so the, the, the center of mass. Center of mass goes straight. No circle. Center of mass velocity is Vx. Center of mass doesn't rotate. Okay? Center of mass will follow this path. It doesn't have Vy. So, what will be Vy component once it's come here? Because now it's no, no, no. Vy is zero. Always. Vx is this. Always. While the entire structure is moving forward, the structure is rotating. Mm -hmm. So, once it's why, rotating why would like 45 do? degrees, so won't the height of the center from the ground be like L by 2 sides? You have not understood the problem. It is the horizontal. On the desk, it is kept there. And desk, on the desk, it will slide forward. Okay, any other doubt? I don't know why you are like conservation of angular momentum along the y axis. That's only at this instant. That's only if you shoot one bullet per gun. At only at this instant. So at any instant, the sum of the angle, sum of the uh, let's say momentum along y axis will be zero. Yes or no? Yes. Because there is no force between any instant later on and any instant now. Okay. So. It will be always zero. Vy comes out to be zero. Initially and always. I am considering this is after time t, whichever time you consider, and this zero is at t equal to zero. So Vy is zero at any point in time, and Vx is this at any point in time. So the frame will move forward like this and rotate. 
center of mass will go in a straight line. Okay? But with respect to center of mass, everything is moving in a circle. Any other doubt? Omega will come out to be same which you got earlier. Okay? 